Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy Vance coming to you with another movie review. And this time, I'm going to give you guys the spoiler version of 2009's Pandorum without giving too many spoilers, all right? So, just a quick recap. Uh, Pandorum is a 2009 sci-fi horror thriller movie where Earth essentially is overpopulated and they got to find another place to stay. So, they build a ship that they named the Elysium and they put 5,000 people on there and they basically tell them, hey, you guys are going to practice intermittent sleeping for the next hundred years or so until you reach your destination. Once you get there, once you get set up, give us a call. We'll come out there. We'll live happily ever after. But during the course of the movie, not only did the ship start to malfunction, not only did aliens get on the ship, but Earth actually blew up. So those 5,000 people were the last 5,000 people that were on the ship. And that's where one of the better plot twists came in at that I actually appreciated about the movie. The aliens, they weren't even aliens. They were people who were actually on the ship, but because of the atmosphere in space and some of the other things that they couldn't uh, account for, they actually ended up mutating into these, these what we thought were aliens. Um, also, another plot twist that I did like about the movie was uh, Dennis Quaid, his character. He started out as one who you could have looked at as the protagonist, but he actually ended up becoming the antagonist of the movie. And I actually thought that was a nice plot twist was by this movie to do so. I really, really, really love that. Now, eventually, they realize that they've actually been at their destination for almost a thousand years, but they have just been underwater and just didn't know it due to the malfunction of the ship. And that brings the one critique that I have about this movie. Uh, with the aliens on the ship actually ended up being humans that ended up uh, mutating or evolving into or devolving, depending on what words you want to use, I don't think that they could devolve or evolve that far in 1,000 years. You know, and I understand for cinematic effects, this is kind of what you have to do, but I think it would have been a lot better had they made this, you know, five or 10,000 years that, you know, this had been taking place. But I don't see that level of evolution taking place in a, in a thousand years, actually less than a thousand years. Still, with all of that, uh, my rating remains the same. I give this movie a four out of five, and I hope at some point we can get a number two. So appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time, all right?